Hey YouTube, so um, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak with uh, Green Poison now. Um, this is probably a lot of people say it's their favorite. Uh, I like Red Snow better, but this works for 4.2.1 and 4.1. Um, the main reason I'm showing you this is because it's the last jailbreak for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G, because that's their last firmware. Once you get to 4.2.1. All right, so. Here Okay, so uh, before we start, I just wanted to say that uh, it, you don't need to download IPSW to do this jailbreak. Um, it's already built in. That's why they don't make them as rapidly as other jailbreak sites. So, it would take too long, you know, for everything. Go ahead and go on your internet browser. Go to greenpoison.com. see 4.2.1 right here. You can download that if you're on 4.2.1. Not click on the downloads button right there. That'll bring you here. Yeah, 4.2.1, then 4.1. Just click which one you are and download it. All right, so you got your little thing after you made this. But yeah, you want to make a desktop shortcut usually for all these jailbreaks. Just make it more convenient. So you got that. Now what you're gonna do? Click your iPod. This is not my case. Also, let's say while well, this is probably in the camera. Well, yeah. Well, um, that uh, if your thing ever gets messed up. All you have to do, hold the home and power button. It's like a reset button. It'll turn it completely off. So, um, also, uh, iTunes ever opens, close it. I don't want that up. So go ahead and open Green Poison. So, click now. Well, unless you're in jailbreaking an Apple TV. I'm not. Alright, so you got this so it's green poison. Tells you to turn it off and connect connect the iTunes internal. So hold the power button. <coughs> Sorry. Power button. There you go. Off. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click it. It's gonna tell you give you three seconds to get ready. First two seconds you're gonna hold the power button. Second two seconds you're gonna keep holding the power button but hold the home button at the same time. Now the ten seconds. First one's two seconds. And then the third time, third thing I'll tell you to do is let go of the power button but keep holding the home button, which will be fifteen seconds. You're not gonna need all fifteen. Usually when it says eight seconds left, that's usually my magic number. No. Uh but yeah. This jailbreak, it doesn't work every time yet, but eventually it'll work. You just keep trying. There's always something that seems to go wrong. I don't know, it might just be me. And start, click, prepare to jailbreak. Get ready. Power. Home and power. Just home button. So now it's installing the device driver status. It's probably not going to be done. I'm going to have to restart. I'm just going to wait. Alright, it's ready to use. So I'm just going to. Sorry, I already jailbreak. See? I'm just going to click jailbreak. There it is. Alright, I need to get over here so I can see what it's doing to make sure it's still there. Hope oh, it's in the webcam. I'm always get scared when I do this. Not sure if it'll work this time. Be fine if it didn't though. Yep, 
quick. They start, they try, so do that. Hold on power for 10 seconds. And just power. There it goes. Apple logo. Yeah, just hold on power for 10 seconds, then just hold the power button and it'll turn. Alright, so that time I did it wrong on purpose, just to show you home and power button does work. Here's for real. Here's the iPod. Open the green poison. Turn off. Come on. Turn off. So, here we have it. Start now. Prepare to jailbreak. Get ready. Hold for two. Hold on power. Better not install a driver device this time, or else I will be very mad. Fifteen seconds. In the home button. Eight seconds, that's my magic number. I am certain it will jailbreak at this time. Because, you know, that was my magic number. Sorry, I just wanted to see. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, oh, there's the letters. And it's gonna start typing and stuff. If it hasn't already, no. Nope. It will eventually start typing now. Like, writing more letters, not actually typing. Now, you can't type on an iPod Touch without BT stack, keyboard, or whatever, I think. No, there might be other ways on how that. Still waiting. So, why waiting? Just tell you about some other stuff. Uh, it, I've got a couple of videos on a Post links to right above. There's a um, how to update this iPod in case you are jailbroken on Green Poison now and want to update to 4.3.3 for Red Snow. And then I'll post my Red Snow video in the Red Snow video link. It's going to be right up there somewhere. Right up on the top of the video. Top of um, right. There goes typing. Uh, also, while you're at, go ahead and click the subscribe button up there somewhere. This was the first jailbreak with a uh, animated boot logo. Just saying, this is. Animate. Well, it's not animated. I guess it is. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Well, it's not Apple Boot logo. It comes with the green poison one. You'll see that in the. Well, I only see it now. I don't know why. Still got this little green poison thing there. I don't think it's the other anymore. I think it's done. So you have the green poison logo. And then eventually the apple and the green poison logo will rapidly switch. And that type of stuff like now. My friend says it looks like they're fighting. I guess sort of. Yeah, I'm just keeping the green poison up. Usually it'll say it's done, you just click done on pull your iPod. And, yeah. That's what's gonna happen every time you turn your iPod on. It's gonna go from apple to green poison. It will boot slower with any jailbreak, but it doesn't have anything to do with the anime. With the anime. And there it goes.
jailbreak break complete. Usually it doesn't take that long, but whatever. Also, I'm going to prove to you that I'm on 4.2.1 firmware for anyone who wants to accuse me of a liar. You know, they could accuse me of that and they're not really getting anywhere. So, settings. Oh, oh. 4.2.1. There you go. Here's what, what it's going to download when you get it. And download loader. Go ahead and open that. Load sources. Cydia. Click on Cydia. Click install Cydia. It'll say downloading and then blah blah. It'll get like 30% or whatever. Sometimes loader won't work too. You get what you want to do then. Go use this, use the red snow link thing. I'll post it again. And, um, just use red snow. Only check install Cydia. That's all you need if you need Cydia, you know. <laughs> I need something that, I don't know, I yeah, just noticed I can see a reflection on the computer even though I did my last time. Now it's too downloading. How much longer? Yeah. It's not too much longer. It only goes for 30 some percent, I think, or maybe 40 percent. Can't remember. Any time now, it will be done. 35 percent is high enough. Okay, maybe forty percent. No, I just might have thought of something else and it actually goes to a hundred percent. That's true. It stinks. It's taking too long. Forty four percent. Yes. I was right. Success. Go ahead and click the home button. Just wait because what's you see Cydia, don't click on the end now because it's gonna leave it that did it automatically. If you don't believe me, home button. Remember on an iPod 2G is on this side. My finger is on the other side. Oh there's the logo again. I'm actually building Pretty fast. Actually, extremely fast. Faster. Before it's jailbroken, which is actually an extremely huge surprise, which everyone might know. But I will tell you. Go ahead and slide. Go over to say Click on it. It'll initialize. Alright, so that's it. You're jailbroken in the city. Thanks for watching.